everyone and welcome to The Well-Educated Artist. Today we're going to be doing a fun and colorful experiment with two split cups. One has three chambers and one has two chambers. And you can make your own split cups or you can buy them or make them with a 3D printer. And we're going to start with really fun colors in this one. We're going to be using violet and we're going to be using fluorescent pink. All of these colors are mixed with Floetrol and water in a one to three ratio. And these are Liquitex over here. So we're gonna go ahead and begin the pour, just pouring them. Now I don't want too much paint on this canvas. This is not a huge canvas at 12 by 12. So we don't want too much paint but enough. So I think I'm going to start with this much because we do have two cups here, not just one. So now I'm going to pour my violet. They're so pretty. I didn't quite get those even. Maybe I'll add just a little more paint to even them out. I just love bright colors and it's been rainy. It went from being completely sunny around here to completely rainy. So I need a little bit of color. So I'm also going to add on this side three colors. Now there's not as much contrast in these colors, but we do have the more complementary style colors with this yellow and this turquoise blue. And then I'm adding viridian blue or green to it. So I'll go ahead and pour my yellow. I'm gonna put more because these are fairly small chambers. So I want to make sure that I have enough of those colors. And then the very pretty turquoise color. A little bit less of that one because that's a bigger chamber. And then I will add my Viridian, which is just a lighter color of turquoise. Okay, so it's just that simple. I'm gonna move my colors out of the way. Now, I'm just gonna take these and I'm going to do a kiss pour with those. Kiss pour is just when these two spouts are going to touch and we should get a really pretty cool effect. I've had really good luck with kiss pours before. So let's try this out. Trying to keep them steady. And here's the fun part, the tilt. If anything goes over the sides, we can make really cool skins. But actually, right before I tilt, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to torch for any bubbles. There is no silicone in this. So, let's see what happens.
Okay, look at that. Yeah, we are getting some cell formation, and which is interesting because I didn't put any silicone in this, but we're still getting it after we've stretched it a little bit and we've tilted it. So that is pretty cool. I love the colors. You can see this to me always looks like clouds when you add that fluorescent pink color to it and it's turning out pretty good. So let's give it a second and let it do its thing. I'm gonna to torch it one more time to see if there's any more bubbles in there. You have got to see this. This has turned out so awesome and I am going to show you a close up. I just love these kisses. They turn out so great and uh, I love the colors. So take a look. So close up, here is what I am seeing. Some really awesome cells actually, which I didn't expect totally because I've done this before and didn't get any cells. But the addition of one of the paints has definitely caused some cells to happen. Pretty neat. See the wispiness of the pink. Don't ever be afraid or shy of those really intense colors because they can turn out pretty awesome. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And give it a share. Thanks for watching. Bye now.